Hey everyone, so here is the update video on Little Miss Ruby. For those that are new, this is Ruby, my almost 14-year-old Boston Terrier. Back in May of 2018, she was diagnosed with two cancers. The first one was a mast cell tumor on her hind leg. And shortly after, when that was removed, they found a sarcoma tumor on her front leg, which I am going to show you right here. This was her sarcoma tumor before we had it removed. It was huge. How did I miss that? I don't know. But we did have that uh, removed, but they could not get clean margins on neither of them. So we were referred to the VCA hospital in Fishers, Indiana. It's a two hour drive there and a two hour drive back. That's where Ruby got all her cancer treatments done, her x-ray scans, ultrasounds. So we have been doing this for her since 2018. back in January of 2022. Ruby had tripped over a wire in the front yard. And after that, she was limping. So we just thought maybe she pulled something. But she just wasn't getting any better. So, on February 16th of 2022, we took her into her regular vet to have some x-ray to make sure everything was okay. I figured, oh, she just pulled something. We'll just get her some medicine, you know, just keep an eye on her, keep her from running and jumping. And it's just taking her a little bit longer to heal because, you know, of the cancer and the harsh radi ra radiation treatments that, you know, is hard on her and makes the bones fragile. So we just wanted to be extra careful had the x-ray done and that's when they brought the picture up here you'll see the not normal bone to her normal bone and they believe it is bone cancer so after getting that news we went and got a second opinion here in this picture right there you see ruby's leg bowed out and that was on July 22nd. We took her to the vet that night. And um, I was not prepared on what they were going to say and what my choices were. This was on a Friday night, an hour before the vet closed. And they did the x-ray and our worst fear was her leg was broken. You have two bones in your, you know, your, or they have the two bones on the front leg there. And one of them was already broken half and the other one was almost completely broke. They said that there's nothing we can do and she might have a day or two and then we would have to euthanize her. Well, we went back that next morning and we wanted them to wrap it and we're going to give her the benefit of the doubt and try to heal. So for the past three weeks, we have been going back and forth to the vet, getting x-ray and um, getting new casts put on each week. I thought she was doing a little bit better, but this is what it looks like now. Both bones are completely shattered. So the option was either have her leg amputated, which I have been against from day one, or we have to euthanize her. Because Ruby has been handling all this so well, and she is thriving so good, it's only right 
to give her one last shot. And believe me, it was the hardest, one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make. But I am in it for the long haul. And when I tell you this dog has not left my side, except just a few times since then. I bag her leg when it's wet out. I've been putting medicine on her armpit or sometimes where it gets really sore. Um, I've been doing a lot of the wrapping, tons of medication, antibiotics, pain pills, inflammation, her allergy pills, you name it, I have it for her. So we went back to the vet and we really wanted to um, get the rundown on if we decided to have her leg amputated, what are her, what are her chances of survival? And um, th there was just so much to be done and said. And it's so hard to fit this in just in one video. But um, the doctor that we talked to and her thoughts and how risky the surgery is, which all surgeries are risky, but with Ruby, she does have a heart murmur. She does have a slight enlarged heart. Right now, her liver and kidneys, her um, enzymes are a little high, but she thinks that could be because of the medications she's on. Because I did have some chest x-ray and blood work done on her last visit, which was this past Friday. And after talking to the doctor, looking at the scans and the x-rays and the options and everything, we have decided to go forward to have Ruby's front leg amputated tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So this could be my last night with her. But I can't give up on her because she's so full of life. My choice would be completely different if she was in so much pain, if she didn't, you know, walk and play and run and go for her car rides and eat and so happy. I mean, does she look like a dog that has been battling cancer and has a completely broken leg? No. So I'm willing to put the faith into God and the doctor to give Ruby another chance. But I know there's a good chance she won't be coming back home with me tomorrow. I know there's going to be many of you out there that'll probably have a different outlook and opinion on this decision. And I'm sorry if this is one that you are against. But again, if Ruby was showing signs of other issues or if the doctor didn't think it would be a good option. I wouldn't do this to Ruby. I'm not doing it for me. I'm not doing it for my kids. I'm doing it for Ruby. She has been battling cancer 
all these years is she has beat the odds so many times. So the doctor is going to do whatever she can before sedating her. They're going to shave her. She's going to have most of her neck, her chest, and her side all completely shaved. She might leave her shoulder. She might not. I just told her to do what is the quickest way and the safest way for Ruby. I don't care about if there's a little stub or whatever. I don't care. It's just whatever is best for her. Both of my daughters are going to be there. They both work there. Um, Sammy, um, I asked her if she could just stay by her cage. <laughs> so Ruby could hear a familiar voice. So, I know a lot of you have sent me messages asking what you can do. The only thing I am asking you is to please pray for Ruby. So she will be Starting the surgery just a little past 8 a.m. Eastern Time. So when that time rolls around, just please stop for a second and say a prayer. The doctor's open. It takes no more than an hour to cut it and sew it and wake her back up. I just wanted you guys to know that is what's been going on for the past three weeks. I haven't had a lot of videos out. Uh, Josie really knows there's something going on and she's been depressed. It's just amazing how dogs can sense things. And poor Josie. She's going in Tuesday to be sedated and have some teeth pulled that are bugging her so I gotta do this two days in a row but it's worth it if it's gonna help my pets and it makes them feel better so if Ruby does pull through this I just hope that she starts feeling better and is uh, you know more comfortable not having issues with her joint her nerves from the radiation treatments that's when I was having a little fan right there on her to keep her cool <laughs> this was her first day with her cast so again I just wanted to give you guys the update and I will be doing a video on Gracie and my nephew Tyler but just know right now they are doing very well I can honestly not say it enough to you guys that I couldn't have gone this far with everything that has been going on in my life without you. So just know how much I appreciate you guys for everything that you do, you say, your thoughts and prayers. So thank you. And I love you guys all.